All right, Chris, uh, looks like you're going to be getting to your second game with the Manitoba Moose here. Just uh, over your first game, I guess, Milwaukee, how did you enjoy it? And uh, how did you enjoy your time with the Moose here so far? Uh, it's great so far. Just uh, you know, happy to get a good opportunity and start playing some minutes. And uh, I thought the game in Milwaukee was a good game. And uh, it was kind of a special one for me. I got to go home uh, back to Milwaukee. I kind of grew up there. And, had a bunch of friends and family there, which was nice to see. I was going to say, it must have been pretty special, especially because, you know, it's been so much t time since you've played in Milwaukee, right? I don't know if you ever actually have played a pro game in Milwaukee. So what was that like to have some friends and family come out to that game and uh, to get the big win in that one as well? Uh, it, was, uh, it was special. It was nice to have all those people there because, you know, they've been uh, following me and supporting me over the last, I don't know, it's my fifth year pro and, you know, the three or four years of junior before that. So I haven't really got to see them a lot. So it was pretty rewarding to get to go there and, you know, they get to kind of see you know, the fruits of the labor and, uh, you know, they they were always a big part of it. So it was nice to, for everybody to kind of join in and, and get to celebrate together. Take me through that whole process, though, because, you know, this year with, you know, the COVID-19 protocols and, you know, everything changing in such a, a fast matter of time here, it must have been pretty hectic getting that call from Zinger and then coming all the way down here to Milwaukee. Just take me through what that process was like to get you in that game on Wednesday. Yeah, I got the call and it was around 11 and, um, you know, my coach was like, hey, you got called up, you're going up. So I jumped in my car, went to the airport in Detroit and hopped on a puddle jumper and wheeled over here to Milwaukee and, uh, you know, just got a good sleep and then was ready to go. So Take me through your season in the ECHL too as well. You've been having a pretty decent season. It looks like uh, just what have you enjoyed about your season so far before getting that call up here to Manitoba? Uh, Toledo's a great place to play down there. Um, you know, the fans are great. Uh, the building's awesome. You know, we're a really good team down there. Uh, we've got a lot of guys that are actually here in GR right now. Um, so, I mean, Toledo's been been uh, really nice. I was going to say, what's that going to be like? I noticed there's a lot of Toledo guys in that GR lineup. Is it going to be sort of interesting, you know, after playing so long with them in the early parts of the season to now be playing against them? What's that going to be like, I guess, when you take to the ice today? It'll be just like anybody else at that point. Like, um, I don't know, it's kind of a cliche, but, you know, your friend's off the ice, not on the ice. And um, I don't know, it'll definitely be fun to play against them and get to see them out there. It might give them a wink, but you know, right back to business right away.